Hi, and welcome back to Doing Life with Itsy on a Bitsy Budget. Jennifer actually just stopped by today and said, oh, well, what, what can we film today? And I said, well, I don't know. Then I thought, I just put away my pots and pans, and I wanted to show you about this quirky area in my kitchen. When I bought this house, I didn't know what to do with it and how great it turned out. So let's go back into the kitchen, and I'll show you that. All right, so here we are in the kitchen, and this is my cabinet I was talking about. When we first moved into this house, this was just an open space, and I thought, well, I wonder if they used to have a stove in here, a second oven, I mean. And um, this is a very nice cabinet up here and a big cabinet down here. So when I was putting and organizing everything, I thought, what am I gonna do with that space? And originally I thought, well, I could put a microwave in here and I decided I didn't really have a good place for my pots and pans because all of these cabinets are so low, I have to get down there and dig in them. So I came up with this idea. This is just two tea towels that I ironed fold it over and put on these clips and I hide what's back here. And this was a big open, you can see it's just a big open box. That's why I think originally it was an oven. And I put um, my big the big pots in here and my pots and pans I use all the time. So they're right where I can reach them. Um, as you can see, the big things fit right back here like this big pot, pan, serving tray. And uh, I stuck everything in here. It has worked great for me. Here's the other thing I did. This is my little hideaway fit part. And down here, we were lucky enough to have these pull-out cabinets. And what, so what I did is I put all my pots, my pans down here where I could just pull that out, get what I needed, my sandwich press and all, and layer it up. And then in this one, I got a container. Again, containers are great. What do people do with their lids? This worked out good for me. I just have always had it in here. I put all the lids in here and they fit in here perfect. Um, again, another soup pot and set some um, colanders on top. And this is a strainer that goes in another pot and I just have it sitting there. When you stack it upright, it's all accessible. And when you have a quirky space, Kind of think outside the box because you can always find a good way to organize a space that's not a normal space like we talked about in a previous video, the pantry, when I had that problem. So um, I hope this inspired you. Up here I use this for big punch bowls. I do a lot of entertaining and these platters are huge and they fit right up there. So I do have to get on the step stool, but it, that doesn't matter because I don't use them that often. Uh, and this is another pullout, but it's so high it really doesn't even need to be a pullout. And I just have some other things I use for entertaining up here. I hope this is a useful hint and a way to organize an unusual space and gives you some ideas for something you may have in your kitchen. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for listening to the video. See you next time.